everybody. It's the Easy Traveler here. First day in Koh Samui, Thailand. Which is notorious for being Thailand's big party island. And my partying days are kind of behind me. I dabble here and there. I think six years ago this would have been a prime spot for me. But I thought it'd be worth checking out anyway. I'm here for a few days. I rented a scooter. Where I'll go? I don't know yet. Time to make a plan. For a second there, when they were looking for a helmet, I was concerned that they wouldn't be able to find one in my size. I have a deceptively giant head, but luckily they have this androgynous motocross helmet that was deep in storage. I tried on like five helmets and none of them fit, but this one does, luckily. When I asked the scooter rental people what I should see first, I got a one word answer, waterfall. So I looked up, waterfall, and there are hundreds, but this one's the closest. Let's check it out. So I think this is one of the more low-key waterfalls. It's not crowded here, which is usually a dead giveaway. It's nice, but I'm looking for something a little bit bigger. It's a little hard to tell, but that is the biggest non-tarantula spider I've ever seen. The video won't do it justice, but it's huge. Here's another monster spider right above me. It's probably as big as my hand. I won't put my hand next to it, but take my word for it. So, went to a different waterfall, which also has elephant rides, which I will not be doing for reasons I'll explain here in a minute. Now we're talking. That's a waterfall right there. Okay, so elephant riding. Before I go into why I'm against it, I have to preface it with saying, I don't judge the people who are in the industry. I don't judge tourists who go for a ride and try and get that Instagram moment or whatever. But if you do your own research, and look up the process of how these elephants are put into a condition where people can ride them safely. It involves physical abuse at a young age and a process called the crush, which essentially you break the elephant's spirit to where it no longer fights back and is submissive to letting a person ride it. They're kept in very small cages, not cages, enclosures, I guess. Small fenced-in area. Elephants are very intelligent social creatures. It's not like a horse, it's much different. Or other riding animals. It just feels very unnatural to me. My tourist dollars could be spent elsewhere in Thailand. Thailand's amazing. There's so many great things to do. And elephant riding kind of makes me sick. Again, this is easy for me to say, 
I think elephant riding gets a lot of tourist dollars. It's people's livelihood. So it's easy for me as an American to say, oh, elephant riding is a bad industry, an abusive industry, but people's livelihood depends on it. So again, I don't judge the people who tame the elephants or break the elephants, but my tourist dollars could be spent elsewhere in Thailand. So that's why I'm not riding them. About to take a dip. Wish I could take my phone with me. All the more reason to get a real camera. Here we go. It's Tuesday, my second full day here in Koh Samui. And I talked about the elephants yesterday and how elephant riding isn't a very ethical practice. And you might be wondering, is there an ethical way to see the elephants here? And in fact, there is which is what I'm going to do today. And in order for that to happen, we want to show you some very important safety rules that you need to know. Always stand where an elephant can see you. Their peripheral vision is not very good, so standing to the sides can sometimes make it hard to see. With your finger you have to make sure that you've got some space left that it can grab it you hold like this and then you go at the tip of the trunk of the elephants like this the elephants they can eat it by their own do not feed directly to their mouth otherwise the elephant they might grab your hands your hand might be gone okay and the way that you carry the fruit it's just only like this and then at the tip of the trunk if the fruit drop down on the ground in front of the elephants don't pick it up because of the elephant, they cannot see you. They can smell just only watermelon. They might think you're gonna steal their food and then they might put you. Phew, Bangkok, okay? <laughs> so just only take another one, everyone. Just leave it and then take a new one. Like this. If you wanna touch elephants, here we allow you to touch elephants. You can touch them, but just only the trunk. No face, no body, no ears, no neck, no leg, no kiss, no hug the elephants. If you want to kiss or you want to hug, maybe kiss and hug your partner, okay? <laughs> so one hand feed, one hand touch, everyone. Like here, the elephants, they know that you love them by touching on the trunk. This one, her name is Kamsan. Kamsan, she's 57 years old. We're going to feed this one with watermelon. Oh. <laughs> so Kamsan, watermelon. Oh, not being like this. Just only side by side like this. And then you just put it like this. Follow the line. Okay, and then more rice a little bit on top. Okay, after this you have to wrap it. Wrap it from the side that close to the body until the end. Okay, wrap it from this side, wrap it, and roll it like a sushi roll. Oh, she doesn't want it. Uh... <laughs> they're female so they like they like the man guys <laughs> well, how about we pet her she's salivating they're both girls miss okay okay if you say so
Beautiful. You know this one, she only one elephant we know, she used to have a baby before guys, our grandma. Yeah. Other elephant maybe they used to have a baby before but I'm not sure. And this one only one like the powder says she's a, she has a baby before.